there. Welcome to another episode of the Navy Dad channel. Hey, I wanted to take a few minutes and make a quick video to talk about this latest development. The Navy, and more specifically, Recruit Training Command, is testing the waters with a couple of divisions to see how it works if they were to allow recruits to use their personal cell phones um, instead of the traditional public payphone bank to call loved ones and family when they have phone liberty uh, during the course of, of boot camp. Um, I've talked to a lot of recruits uh, that have just graduated in the last couple of years to get their feedback, and I've incorporated those opinions into my own. Uh, but let's kind of talk about the pros and the cons of this decision. And of course, I would absolutely love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. And if you find this conversation and this information beneficial, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I could, I'd really appreciate it. So let's start off with the, uh, the pros or the benefits. Now, the Navy has made concerted efforts recently to, uh, it, it, for the purpose of retention and recruitment, I think, uh, to, to be a little bit more family friendly. Now, if allowing recruits to use their cell phone is um, beneficial in, the, in regards to it, you're going to more easily identify their cell phone when it comes across your caller ID as opposed to a pay phone. Um, it's going to make it a little bit easier to make sure that the, the recruit um, has access to all their family, friends, and phone numbers in their phone book as opposed to uh, losing an address book or a piece of paper they took with them to keep track of all of that. To that end, and, and in, in that spirit, I, I think I support the idea of making um, the cell phone a better tool. Uh, let's put it that way. If the Navy is just switching the tool from a public pay phone to the recruit's own personal pay phone, I think that's a benefit and uh, it's going to improve the and streamline the operation now. I don't believe that out allowing access to text and to the internet and all of those things, uh, I don't believe that those are things that are beneficial. My recruits said that uh, when they became sailors, uh, that they actually enjoyed the time uh, and a, a break from their cell phones. And I think that's important. When, when, the, when the Navy's breaking down these sailors and, or recruits and building them back into sailors, absence of the cell phone can be very beneficial in that regard. And both my boys said that they actually appreciated that break, like I said. Now I'm going to talk about the negatives or the cons to this idea. And I'm going to break it down into kind of three silos, so to speak. Um, that first silo is the objective. It's the most important. It's the lethality and the effectiveness of the United States Navy in its forward operating positions. The objective needs to remain the objective. Uh, the second part of that, in support of the objective, is you need to train highly capable, highly skilled recruits and make them into sailors. That's done at Recruit Training Command. You cannot compromise that because that will jeopardize the objective. Um, if you're trying to, and the third component of this is recruiting, if you're trying to increase recruitment by enticing them and making boot camp seem softer, that is not the way to go. So if there's any aspect of this or any element of this that is there to soften boot camp, to uh, make it a, a little bit more inviting and um, just for lack of a better term, softer, I am absolutely not in favor of that. So in summary, I, I would kind of say this. I would say that if, if it's going to enhance and improve the Navy, um, I'm all in favor. If it's going to motivate sailors at boot camp um, to perform better, um, if it's going to be a better tool for the Navy to grab the cell phone instead of a pay phone, for both the Navy and for the sailor. Uh, I'm in favor of that. Um, if, if we're gonna be chasing culture, yeah, not a good idea. Uh, the Navy does a good job of making recruits into sailors and they don't need to compromise or degrade that. I don't know what's deep down inside what all of the variables are that they took into consideration, but um, that's kind of my take on it. Um, I hope that uh, some some of you will share your opinions down in the comments section below. I'm really interested to hear what other parents um, feel on this. 
what's your take on this? I mean, as a parent, uh, seeing their name come across caller ID while they're at boot camp's great. That's a, that's a feel good moment, but uh, deep down inside, I'm still looking at wanting my my, na my my sailor to be out in a Navy that is as strong as robust as humanly possible um, for safety reasons. And, and I'm not in favor of compromising that for a couple minutes of feel good. So anyway, if you found this beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I really appreciate if you'd like, share, and subscribe. And uh, um, Merry Christmas. Booyah Navy.